ordination is basically saying, this is the job you're going to do. So if someone is ordained to be a pastor, it's basically them being commissioned and appointed as, hey, you are going to pastor a church. Or being a missionary, you're going to be an evangelist. You're going to be a missionary. Or you're going to serve as the deacon, right? That's what it means to be ordained or appointed. What it really means is that you've been chosen and approved for a certain job. People have looked at you and said, okay, you meet the qualifications, and so we are selecting you for this task. That's what it means to be ordained or appointed to the ministry. Now, the whole purpose of ordination is that you're found faithful, not just in the sight of God, but that your fellow man finds you faithful. That your church looks at you and said, hey, this is a faithful guy. This guy, he's been with us, we've observed him, and we have found him to be faithful. We've found him to be trustworthy, reliable, doctrinally sound. You know, we have found him qualified. That when it comes to ordination, of course, Stephen Anderson, his, uh, his claim to this is basically, I think, that he went into an office with his pastor. His pastor prayed over him, ordained him, and sent him out basically in a private meeting. But his pastor denies that. His pastor uh, claims that uh, he did pray with him and he basically gave him his blessing, but he did not ordain him. That his intentions were basically to, you know, just pray over him, see what happens, see how he does, and in the future, if he did well, that then he would ordain him. And so his pastor's claim is that he never ordained him. But you know, I believe that this movement is of God. Amen. Amen. I believe that this, I mean, you see the old IFB, they would always see be praying, say, pray for a revival, brother, pray for a revival. But you know what? The revival's here, amen? That's what you get for being wicked.